Since 2022, John and I have stayed in 28 Punta Cana resorts in pursuit of our goal of staying in every single one, 10 of which have been adults only. This is a ranking of those 10 adults only Punta Cana resorts we've visited so far to help you choose the right hotel for your vacation in the Dominican Republic. Number 10. TRS Capcana the TRS Capcana Waterfront and Marina Hotel in Punta Cana is a small, luxurious resort in the exclusive Capcana area. It has a private, man-made beach which, while not great, compared to the world-famous Punta Cana beaches, is a better alternative than no beach. The resort also provides a shuttle twice daily to the renowned Juanillo Beach for those seeking a more traditional beach experience. The resort features two large pools, one with a pool bar and music, and another elevated pool with a volleyball net and various seating options such as Balinese beds and hammocks. The pool area is well maintained and relaxing. Due to its small size, TRS Capcana offers limited amenities. There are pool and ping pong tables, a giant chessboard, a small gym, and the Centropia Spa which provides rare free access to the sauna and hydrotherapy pools. Nightlife is quiet, with no nightclub and modest evening entertainment. The sports bar becomes the main gathering spot after the nightly shows. The food at TRS Capcana is disappointing. There's a small breakfast buffet, but not buffet for lunch or dinner. The Elios restaurant has a beautiful marina view, but service is slow and the food is underwhelming. The Italian restaurant Tentazione also failed to impress. Drinks vary in quality depending on the bartender, though some, like the Banana Mama, were good. Service is friendly but slow, particularly at the bars and restaurants. The front desk staff were helpful and responsive. Our junior suite with a marina view was spacious and comfortable, but showed signs of wear and tear. The best feature was the beautiful balcony view. Overall, TRS Capcana scores 54 out of 110 on our rankings. It offers beautiful views and a relaxing atmosphere. Still, significant improvement in food quality, service speed, and room condition is needed to become a top-tier property. On our channel, you'll find full reviews and tour videos of the TRS Capcana and the other resorts in this top 10 list for more thorough information. Number 9. Barcelo Bavaro Beach The Barcelo Bavaro Beach Resort presents a quieter, more intimate alternative to its family-friendly sister property, the renowned Barcelo Bavaro Palace. As an adults-only hotel, nestled within the Barcelo Bavaro Grand Resort Complex, the Bavaro Beach Resort offers a distinct ambience and charm worth exploring. This resort has only two specialty restaurants, and we chose Shea Gourmet, which serves international cuisine for dinner. The staff is very attentive, and its menu is creative, but the food could have been tastier. We were pleasantly surprised by our room. Even though it's dated, it is perfectly maintained and comfortable. The balcony provided stunning views, enhancing the overall experience. This resort is on the world-famous Bavaro Beach, and its crystal clear waters and white sand are perfect for relaxation and soaking in the sun. The resort has only one pool. It's big and has good depth. John is 5 feet and 6 inches tall, and the water was up to his neck in some areas, which is not usual in resorts. Our favorite pool features were the massaging water faucets and the bubbling section in the middle, which was very relaxing. A significant drawback of the Barcelo Bavaro Beach is its lack of amenities. Although it is a standalone resort, it depends heavily on its sister family-friendly resort for almost all amenities. This means you have to share amenities with families detracting from the adults-only theme. Overall, the Barcelo Bavaro Beach Resort offers a tranquil retreat, good value for money, and a relaxed ambience making it a compelling choice for those seeking a quieter getaway in Punta Cana. We scored it 78 out of 110.
No matter how good your resort is, we strongly recommend going out and experiencing a different side of Punta Cana. A safe way to do so is to go on a guided excursion, which you can book online by scanning the QR code on the screen or clicking the link in the description and pin comment. We make a small commission on each sale at no extra cost to you. Number 8. Breathless Punta Cana The Breathless Punta Cana Resort offers a vibrant and modern experience, with recent renovation enhancing its appeal. The lobby sets a positive tone with its contemporary design and easy check-in ensures a smooth start to the stay. Guests can enjoy a variety of dining options, including the Spoon Buffet restaurant with extensive offerings and scenic views. The resort features two main pools, a smaller, lively pool, which had an inflatable obstacle course during our stay, and a larger, quieter pool suitable for swimming. While not on the prettiest beach in Punta Cana, it offers beautiful waters and a picturesque coastline. However, it has recently seen an increase in beach vendors. Accommodations include the Allure Junior Suite with a pool view, for which we paid $540 for two people per night. The rooms are spacious, modern, well-decorated, with effective air conditioning and comfortable beds. However, some elements like the hot tub show signs of age. The balcony offers simple furniture but a great view. Entertainment is a strong point, with a vibrant pool party atmosphere, engaging activities, and good performances in the theater. The resort's gym is located in the neighboring Dreams Onyx, accessible to the breathless guests and other amenities, though shared with families, which may detract from the adults-only experience. Dining options include the Italian restaurant, which, despite being in the same venue as the buffet, offers decent food. Service across the resort is generally good, and drinks, particularly the piña coladas, receive high marks. Overall, Breathless Punta Cana scores 80 out of 110, with high room quality, service, and entertainment ratings. Its value for money, amenities, and food also score well, making it a solid choice among adults-only Punta Cana resorts. It ranks 14th out of 28 on our overall list. Number 7. Rio República Punta Cana The Rio República Resort is one of the most famous party hotels in Punta Cana, and its usually low prices give it a high value for money rating. We paid $208 for two people per night for a standard double room with a balcony view of the water park. The resort is in Arena Gorda, about 29 minutes from the Punta Cana International Airport. It is surrounded by other resorts, but you need a car or taxi to explore the town. The beach at Arena Gorda, which is shared with renowned hotels like the Hard Rock and Royalton, is noted for its beauty. Despite summer being high seaweed season, the beach remained clear thanks to diligent staff. However, a sand mound separating the hotel from the beach can be challenging for those with physical limitations. The resort boasts six pools, three of which have pool bars and play loud music for a party vibe. The smaller pool is dedicated to volleyball, while the larger, quieter pools are closer to the beach and water park. Unlike many other resorts, the hotel provides ample seating and shade. Rio República features a small spa, a decently equipped gym, ping pong, beach volleyball courts, a soccer field, and a water park with slides ranging from medium to extreme. The entertainment staff actively engages guests with various activities, and nighttime shows maintain high standards. There is also an on-site disco, Pasha, with a vibrant atmosphere. Dining options are diverse, with two buffet restaurants, La Altagracia and Mangu, and several a la carte restaurants, including Italian, Asian, Indian, Fusion, Spanish, and a steakhouse. Some a la carte restaurants operate buffet style, offering higher quality food than the main buffets. Drinks are available at numerous bars, though they tend to be watered down. 
the resort organizes popular Rio parties, transporting guests to the Rio complex on uncomfortable-looking buses. Rooms are clean and well-equipped, but issues include worn-down sofas, bedding, towels, and small pillows. Overall, we rated the Republica 82 out of 110 with high marks in the value for money, amenities, service, and entertainment categories. Number 6. Bahia Principe Luxury Amber The hotel's location is beachfront, but you can't drive directly to it. You get dropped off at the Grand Aquamarine Hotel, and then an electric car whisks you away to the Luxury Amber. We got a warm welcome with cold face towels and a drink, and check-in was a breeze thanks to their pre-check-in option. The coffee shop quickly became our fave spot for snacks and amazing cookies. The pool bar served a decent piña colada, a solid B plus in our books. Our room was a junior deluxe suite. It was comfy and modern with a rain shower and a well-stocked minibar. The only bummer was that the balcony doors didn't do a great job keeping the noise out. The pool scene? Think big and lively with a party vibe, but not as wild as the Rio Republica. The foam party was a blast, however, lounge shares by the pool are in high demand. The food was mostly good, with some hits and misses. Palmira, the main buffet, offered a decent variety, but some dishes like the pizza needed work. Specialty restaurants required reservations and could be hit or miss. Portofino's shrimp fettuccine was just meh, but Limbo, the gourmet restaurant, was a culinary highlight with superb food and cocktails. Entertainment was lively, from pool parties with fire shows to a singer with a beautiful voice in the lobby. The gym was small but well equipped, so you can work off those all-inclusive indulgences. The beach was beautiful but a bit rocky and could have been cleaner during the day. The beach areas are divided, with the best maintained section reserved for privileged club members. Overall, we scored the Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar 82 out of 110. Excellent service, good food, and a fun atmosphere make it worth the visit. Number 5. Royal Ton Chic This adults-only, all-inclusive spot is a party haven and part of Marriott's autograph collection. It's nestled in Uvero Alto, which isn't precisely the postcard-perfect beach spot you might imagine. Think darker, rougher waters and brownish sand. The vibe? Total party central. Though it starts off chill, the scenes cranks up around 3 p.m. with phone parties at the main pool. The animation team keeps the energy high, and by night, the place transforms with events like the white party. Speaking of pools, there are five to choose from, each offering something unique. Our favorite was the big one near the beach with plenty of seating and a cool shape. There's also a hydro massage pool, think giant jacuzzi, and a glassed wall pool perfect for those insta-worthy shots. When it comes to food, the Elements Buffet was decent but had nothing to write home about. However, the Italian-Indian restaurant hybrid and the Pescari Ceviche and Sushi Place were hits. If you're a snacker, hit Munchies or the coffee shop for sweet savory bites and ice cream. The nightlife is lively, even though the disco was closed during our stay due to hurricane damage. Rooms are chic, trendy and comfy, though the single sink and semi-private toilet might not be everyone's cup of tea. We had a minor issue with the AC and a mysterious sewer smell, but overall, it was clean and stylish. Despite some hurricane-related hiccups, we're giving the Royalton Chic an 84 out of 110. We totally come back to see it in full swing. Number 4. Live Aqua Punta Cana Let's give you the scoop on this small, adults-only resort that's all about the couple's vibe. Also nestled in Uvero Alto, it's a bit out of the way, about 39 minutes from Punta Cana International Airport, and not exactly close to hotspots like Cocobongo and downtown Punta Cana, so if you plan to explore, be ready for some taxi rides. Now let's talk beach. 
As I mentioned before, Ubero Alto's beach isn't your typical postcard perfect Punta Cana stretch. Thanks to its Atlantic Ocean side location, the sand is darker and the water a bit rougher. But props to Live Aqua for keeping their beach super clean and well organized. It's the best we've seen in this area. Pool lovers rejoice! There are five pools, four of them rectangular and perfect for lounging and swimming, with a bigger, deeper main pool complete with a bar and tunes. Just a heads up, the chase lounges get snatched up quickly, so set those alarms early if you want a spot. Live Aquas got a boutique hotel feel, so it's not jam-packed with amenities. There's a decent gym, a spa, and a cool sports bar. Nightlife isn't wild. Expect live music and magic shows rather than a bustling disco. The food? Breakfast at the Liberty Buffet was top-notch, one of the best we've had in Punta Cana. Lunch is a bit trickier, since the buffet isn't always open, leaving you with a la carte options like the OK Mediterranean spot or the cevicheria. Dinner brings more choices with Mexican, Italian, Asian, and French restaurants, all pretty solid. The drinks were a highlight, delicious cocktails with a good kick, and the staff, absolutely stellar, friendly, attentive, and quick to help. They really made our stay enjoyable. Our room? It was modern and stylish, with a comfy bed and a huge TV, but a few letdowns like a mysterious bad smell, a so-so minibar, and a not-for-everybody layout. Still, the terrace with a hot top and a great view made up for it. Overall, Live Aqua gets an 87 out of 110 from us. It's a great spot for a relaxing, couples-centric getaway. Just don't expect non-stop action. Now, let's see our top three adults-only picks. Number three, Sanctuary Capcana. Nestled in the exclusive Capcana area, this medium-sized adults-only resort is all about luxury. Here, you'll find four room categories, colonial suites, luxury suites, villa collection, and the castle. Each offers unique vibes and designs, but let's be real, the castle is where it's at. The resort's beach game is weak. There's a small, seaweed barrier protected beach with less than crystal clear water. There's also a beach behind the castle, but it's more seaweed than sand and could use a little bit of TLC, but the resort's pool offering is excellent. There's plenty of space to splash around with six pools on site, including our faves, the castle pool and the big one near the beach. Foodies rejoice! The culinary scene here is top-notch. The buffet is a bit different. Instead of self-service, staff plates your food, which is more hygienic but less fun. Dinner options include a steakhouse, an Asian spot, an Italian restaurant, and a seafood joint. Sanctuary Town adds five more eateries to the mix, including pizza, burgers, sushi, and an ice cream shop. Plus, there's room service if you're feeling lazy. For drinks, you're covered with seven bars scattered around. Our top picks, the bar overlooking the castle pool and the love bar. There's even a cute German themed pub in Sanctuary Town if you're in the mood for something different. Amenities wise, it's a bit light. There's a spa, a fitness center, a nightclub and a small boutique shop. We splurged on a Castle Junior Suite swim out for $655 a night and it was worth every penny. The room was spacious and luxurious, with a semi-private pool and chic castle-themed decor. The resort grounds are stunning, lush vegetation, beautiful architecture, and an easy-to-navigate layout. Nighttime here is magical, with beautifully lit paths and buildings. Entertainment is low-key, mostly centered around the PM pop disco at night. Sanctuary Capcana is a solid pick if you're after a luxurious, relaxed vibe. We strongly recommend the castle section for a unique stay. We scored it 96 out of 110. Number 2. Rio Palace Macau. 
the quality of this resort took us by surprise. We've been to other Rio hotels in Punta Cana and, while solid, never really made it to the top of our rankings. The Rio Palace Macau was recently fully renovated, and it shows. All areas and amenities are super pretty and modern looking, making it one of the best hotels we've visited in Punta Cana. As of the recording of this video, it sits in the third place of our overall rankings. We paid $700 for the two of us for three nights in the cheapest room type, which was exceptional value for money. Our superior junior suite was gorgeous, with only minor flaws. Everything is new, everything works, and it's beautifully designed. We changed the quality and condition of the towels, which feel cheap and raggedy. The Palace Macau is small, which makes it very easy to walk. Small resorts usually lack amenities, but we loved that the Palace Macau had plenty, from a fully equipped gym, a casino, a coffee shop, and a sports bar, to a nearby nightclub and water park. It has three pools, a party pool with a wet bar, a small pool near the beach, and the largest of them all, the main pool. The food was excellent, with the buffet food excelling above the rest, Rio does a great job with the buffet food, but they cranked it up a notch in this hotel. Other than minor details like the pasta they use or the pizza dough, we loved eating at the Palace Macau. Staying in recently renovated hotels is usually a good bet, and this resort did not disappoint. We scored the Rio Palace Macau 104 out of 110, which surprised even us. Number 1 our choice for the top adults-only resort in Punta Cana is one of the newest properties in town, the Hyatt Zilara Capcana. This luxury resort's prices can reach up to $700 per person per night. We managed to snag a deal at $345 and had high expectations. The resort didn't disappoint with its beautiful lobby, attentive staff, and an overall vibe of elegance and relaxation. The room, a junior sweet king, was spacious, tastefully decorated, and had a great view from the balcony. The bed was super comfortable, and the bathroom had double vanities and a big shower, though the water pressure was a bit weak. The balcony was basic, but the view was the real star. The food at the Zilara was excellent, the buffet at the pier was outstanding, with an insane variety of dishes, from meat cuts and pasta to Venezuelan specialties. Poolside snacks at Presto were delicious, especially the mushroom arugula pizza and the burger. Dinner at the French Tahitian Brandos was the only letdown of our stay, with bland dishes despite the beautiful setting. However, the Indian restaurant Journeys was a highlight with some of the best Indian food in any Punta Cana resort. The resort amenities were top-notch. Though cold, the main pool was gorgeous, and the hot tubs were our favorite relaxing spot. The water park Canapolis was a blast, especially the Lazy River. The gym, called the Refinery, was insanely well-equipped and offered various workout options. Entertainment was decent, with a fun night show, though the silent disco party wasn't our favorite. The fire pit area was lovely, with live music and a lively atmosphere. Room service was surprisingly good, with tasty options like cheeseburgers and tequeños. Overall, the Hyatt Zilara scored high in our books, with excellent value for money, top-notch amenities, and great service, placing it second in our Punta Cana Resort rankings, just behind Hard Rock and Lopezan, which are tied for first. Click on this video next to see which 10 resorts we rank the highest in Punta Cana overall.